Hey cookie creators and lovers alike, I'm Gabby. It's a Christmas classic and one of my dad's personal favorites. Grab your ball of tangled Christmas lights and make sure somebody's holding on to the ladder. Today on The Cool Cookie Show, we're making National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Cookies. For our Jelly of the Month Club, we'll start with the lid of the jar in a really light brown. For my soft piping consistency icing, I'm using a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'm using a number one Ateco tip. We'll let this dry for 20 minutes to an hour before we finish up the flooding on the lid. Before the main jelly red dries, let's go in with a darker red and add some depth. Now we'll let this flooding dry for 6 to 12 hours before we dress it up. We'll let the flooding on the label dry for 6 to 12 hours before we write on it. This jelly's all done and ready to be gifted. For our station wagon, we'll start by flooding the classic wood paneling. For my soft piping consistency icing, I'm using a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'm also using a number one Ateco tip. We'll let our panels dry for 20 minutes to an hour.
We'll let this dry for 20 minutes to an hour before we finish up the flooding on the main part of the car. We'll let the car dry for 20 minutes to an hour. We'll let the tires dry for 20 minutes to an hour and then we'll finish up the flooding.
We'll let this dry for 20 minutes to an hour before we give the tree some roots. We'll let all of this dry for 6 to 12 hours before we add the details. To give the dirt a more realistic look, I'm going to sprinkle my black icing with crushed Oreo cookies. I have listed all the products and tools I use in this video in the details below. Our station wagon is all done and ready to hit that holiday road. For our moose cup, we'll be making him extra festive by topping him with Clark's Santa hat. For my soft piping consistency icing, I'm using a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'm using a number two Wilton tip. We'll let this flooding dry for 20 minutes to an hour. For the white of the Santa hat, I will be showing two different options, all flooding option and a stiff fluffy icing look. We'll let the white dry for 20 minutes to an hour before we start our mousse.
Let this dry for 20 minutes to an hour and then we'll finish up the base flooding. We'll let everything dry for 6 to 12 hours before we give him detail. I use my projector and food coloring marker to map out my moose face and Santa hat bells. We'll let this flooding dry for 6 to 12 hours. We'll let these dry for 20 minutes to an hour before we finish him up and see the second Santa hat option. This mousse is all done and ready for some eggnog. So which Santa hat would you pick? Flooding icing or stiff, fluffy piping consistency? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click subscribe as well as the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. In the meantime, here are some other videos you may enjoy. Thanks so much for watching The Cool Cookie Show. Till next time, stay sweet.